across back. Do it with the mill. Winging it. Right, I'm just going to crudely touch off on each side. And I know the metal is 1.6 mil thick, so I'm just going to crudely touch off on each side. And I've worked out that if I do a top cut, I can then probably do the bottom cut from the top. It's deep enough to go all the way through, but it's not deep enough to do top and bottom. But the M mil is a 6 mil high speed steel, so nothing too fancy. But um, this should work out, I think. Let's have a go. I put the mill on top speed because obviously this is only a six mil M mill. Six mil M mil? You really need to say mill twice. Six mil bit, so I want it running as fast as possible. Yep, that's just touched. Right, I know my M mil is 3 mil. That will put me dead centre. I know the metal is 1.6. So I need to do some quick sums. I say quick, not with my brain. I say quick. I really don't know what I was thinking. Six mil M mil in six mil. So if I move it over six mil plus the wall thickness should be right. Is that correct? Let's have a look, shall we? Well according to my calculations that's right. <laughs> my calculations. Let's see if I can calculate anything. Right. Here we go then. I'm going to put some oil on this as well. Now before anybody asks why I didn't just cut this with an angle grinder and then finishing it off with a mill, I think I was probably just having too much fun. Quick check. That looks good to me. Now I'm going to cut the noise out of that last bit because that was damn noisy. Okay, raise it up. And let's go again. the other one off camera because I've actually had to work around the camera on this one so I've run around the edges of a file so there's no sharp edges and the next job is to take a nut and bolt and put it on now when I come to fit these for proper hopefully I'll find some shoulder bolts because that's what I'd prefer in there but for now as a test unit that's fine Couple of spanners. I 
I think that will probably just close up I think yep that's lovely happy with that Now these bits of metal are to form part of a clamp. On the bottom of the bike, you'll see a picture in a second, there's a, a, a foot mount and it protects the chain ring. And it also gives you somewhere to stand the bike when it's folded up. So these were designed to assist two 3D printed clamps that I'd made. And um, they would bolt either side of this bracket and form a uh, support for mounting onto the frame and I'll go more into detail about that in a second. Now I did um, end up using an angle grinder on the sides of these uh, purely simply because it was taking so long and whether I woke up entirely to using the anger grinder or, <laughs> or just having too much fun so what I'm trying to do here is mount this at the angle that we defined so I'm going to be machining a slot out of this so effectively this will then sit over the top of this and it'll be welded on and it will sit at this angle and then what I'm going to be doing is this mounts to the bottom of the bike and this will be welded on there like so so the bike will be plonked on here if you imagine this will be like so and it will slot into here, this will all be cut out and as you shut the tailgate and this all moves in up at this angle so this will then slot into this and therefore it will stop the bike from wobbling around to an extent um, what I'm not quite sure whether this is just going to sit in here because the bike gets pushed against the, the back of the, the um, pickup bed anyway or what I'm probably going to be doing anyway is I've got these quick release pins I'm probably going to have a hole drilled through and it will just pin the whole lot together so now next step is to machine out the slot here so this enables it to slot over this so that's my next step Right, to slot this out, I'm going to simply touch off on each inside because obviously I want to keep this outside wall and I figure that's just the easiest way of doing it. Before I was touching it off on the outside and subtracting the wall thickness, well, this is just as easy. So DRO's on.
So these bits are for the lower mounting. I showed you that pin a second ago. Um, these are the bushings for that pin to go through. I'm happy with that. nice fit So, off camera I've drilled this hole here to line up with this, and um, it's a little bit awkward to show like this. Check that out. So, this will be attached to the bike, and you plunk the bike down on there like that, put your pin in, and then as the tailgate comes up, it goes into place. Now I realise I've got them moving this edge off because the bike is fixed to the bike like this. This is attached to the bike and it's going to be something like that. So obviously it can't. I'm going to have to machine those bits out, but I suppose I could actually, if I'm clever. <laughs> Um, machine the slots in the right place so it almost locks it in place as well yeah good to have a look at that right so I think the next step is to weld that on and get this mounted to the bike because I know this works so I think that's the next step <laughs> 